the best DJs in the universe. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, we have been in each other's um, spirit and like surroundings for a long time, and we have not done something together, so we thought we might try it. I actually thought we might do it, and uh, we'll see if it was supposed to be tried later on. So, <laughs> so this is called Borders. Guantanamo, or bed -Stuy. The border surprise desire of freedom. Ceiling no longer glass, but virtual reality. I can stick my hand through you, think so you plunge like it's a bird, it's a plane, it's freedom. And all the alarms go off. And this net, this net you didn't see drapes over you. You are a criminal. You are trespassing. Didn't you see the signs? Didn't you know not to stray far? from your homeland? Didn't you know freedom, freedom? Didn't you know freedom was not your home? So you put a lid on everything. Don't explode. Diffuse your mind. Separate from spirit. Let your hands refuse to acknowledge your fingers. Separate everything in the back of the refrigerator and push the refrigerator next to your bed. Turn on the refrigerator and dream within its incessant hum. Someday, Someday you will dig a hole in a lot littered by people who do not know their beauty and bury the refrigerator. But for now, microwave dinners, frozen tater tots, and canned greens suffice. Match the dry paint peeling from your insides. You could have used the cream corn to patch the walls, but you are comforted by the sight of blood. Something about the pain reminds you you longed for freedom once. Once near the taste of sky, and for a second you recall the cold wind was necessary and hot enough to keep you reaching to the net with your screams. For a moment, you remember you heard your own voice for the first and then the last time within a fragmented second, when the net branded you, poor and destined for lines again. And sometimes, when you roll over to sniff another line of coke into your nostril, another line of standing disappears, and it's all vague. It's all vague how you grew up believing the smiling moon followed to your grandmothers and withstood your father's drunken ramblings. It's all clear and murky after that. After the dreams of touching begin to haunt you and the decision to run or stand is only yours, you become, you become, you become afraid to reach the sky again, to touch that laughter which shatters murkiness and pain, that laughter that is indistinguished from music and sobbing, that laughter that leaves letting pain reconnect with your body like a highway junction, like blood clots, like tiny, tiny knots, like history, leaving tiny knots like history, tiny knots like history in your back and your shoulders. You learn to numb the fragmentation, refuse laughter, hate the temporary.